Welcome to day four. We're doing leaves. So I have a lot of fun with leaves. I really enjoy quilting them, partly because there's so much variety, so many different shapes and sizes, and so much, you know, you can add a lot of detail or not, whatever you choose. I'm going to suggest a little activity that I think you could have a lot of fun with. Just go for a walk and gather as many leaves as you can, as many different kinds. So from the trees that you see, or the bushes, or even the weeds, and bring them home with you and figure out how you can replicate them with a continuous line doodle. You'll discover that leaves are particularly good for something like that. So you'll see I did a kind of a messy maple leaf over here. Let me show you how I came up with that. For this one, I like to start with the center vein. That's often a good place to start with the leaf, and I kind of make it curved. And then as I come down, I do some branches. I don't want to do too much detail because whatever amount of detail I use, I'm going to have to replicate it in every leaf that I, let's see, let's come up a little higher with this, there we go, and every leaf that I create when I'm quilting them out. So I don't want to have to commit myself to, you know, a high level of detail. It gets time consuming. So I've done my center veins. I would come back down here and then I'm going to use these branched out veins as a guideline for the outer shape of my, of my maple leaf. So if I had a maple leaf sitting in front of me, it would go something like this. And there's the point at the top. I'm just using these branching out areas as my guides. So that's one way to do it, is start with the veins in the center. You can also just start with the outside. So if I did my a shorter center stem, I could replicate the outside shape of the maple leaf and come back here and either fill it in with veins like I did with the other one or not. You can leave the inside just bare and everyone still knows that it's a maple leaf. So I could even do something in here if I want to. This of course looks a little messy with my fat marker. It would have finer lines if I had a finer lined marker or if I were quilting it out. So let's take a look at some more leaves. <laughs> 